I'm Jennifer Parker from Tallahassee. Last year, I became the youngest contestant to ever win the title of Miss Florida USA. I had a lot of fun getting ready for my pageant, and this year's 70 contestants are enjoying themselves just as much. Contestants that musical guest star Barry Fish says all have that look. Walking like a man, hidden like a hammer, she's a juvenile scam. Never was a quitter, tasted like a raindrop, she's got the look. Heavenly abound, cause heaven's got a number when she's spinning me around. Kissing is a cover, loving is a wild dog, she's got the look. She's got the look. She's got the look. She's got the look. What in the world can make a bright girl turn blue? When everything I love I do, I do for you. And I go la 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 la. She's got the look. Fire in the eyes, naked to the deep one is a lover's disguise. Banging on the head drum, shaking like a mad bull. She's got the look. Way into the fan, moving like a hammer, she's a miracle man. Loving is the ocean, kissing in the wet sand. She's got the look. She's got the look. She's got the look. She's got the look. What in the world can make a brown eyed girl turn blue? When everything I love I do, I do for you. And I go la 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 la. She's got the look. Live from Bailey Hall on the campus of the Broward County Community College, it's the 1990 Miss Florida USA pageant with your host and hostess, Dick Lamb and Mary Margaret Hume, and special guest star, Barry Fish. The Miss Florida USA pageant is brought to you by Minute Maid Premium Choice, 100% pure Florida squeezed orange juice, and by Lanacane Cream. Lanacane shuts off the itch like a switch instantly. Return to the 39th annual Miss Florida USA pageant live from Bailey Hall right after this. This awful itch. Won't anything stop it fast? Lanacane will. Lanacane shuts off the itch like a switch instantly. Look, Benadryl can't. Cortade can't. Hydrocortisones can't. Only Lanacane cream actually quiets the itch nerves that cause every itch instantly on contact. So for the fastest relief of every itch, every itch, get Lanacane. Lanacane does shut off the itch. Like a switch. Instantly. It's not kind of fresh. And it's not close to fresh. It is fresh. Introducing Minute Maid Premium Choice, squeezed from 100% Florida oranges, then pasteurized to stay fresh and protected in our perfect package so you can enjoy the best tasting juice we've ever made. 
Minute New Premium Choice. It's the freshest minute made ever. And the minute you taste it, you'll know. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to our host and hostess for this evening. Miss Florida, USA, 1975, and now a successful actress on television and the Los Angeles stage, Mary Margaret Hume. And for over 10 years, the Dean of Miss USA State Pageants, Dick Lamb. Thank you very much, and welcome indeed to this, the 39th annual Miss Florida USA pageant. We are coming to you live from Bailey Hall, where 70 beautiful ladies will be vying for the title of Miss Florida USA for 1990. The winner will then represent Florida in the Miss USA pageant, and should she win, she will go on to represent the United States in the Miss Universe pageant this year. Now, this lady knows all about this scene because she's been here before some years ago. She was... Miss Florida USA, went on to the Miss USA pageant and was a finalist there. I mean, just thinking about that, how does it make you feel tonight? Oh, gosh, just thinking about that, I get goosebumps. Don't you get anxious now. We're not um, going to make you compete here tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Later on. Bye. Take care. What we are going to do, however, tonight is usher in a new decade in pageantry. For nearly 40 years now, beautiful young women from all over the state of Florida have gathered to compete for this title. And tonight is no exception. Ladies and gentlemen, join me please now as we welcome the first 35 of our contestants for Miss Florida USA 1990. Good evening, everyone. From Hialeah, I am Addis Rosa. Hi, my name is Sheila Watkins, and I'm from Capital City, Tallahassee. Good evening, from Tampa, I'm Nithia Castillo. Good evening, I'm Christine Janzer from Hollywood. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy McDonough from Fort Lauderdale. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cynthia Skocek, and my hometown is New Smyrna Beach. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Marsico, and I'm from Fort Lauderdale. Greetings, Florida. My name is Jennifer Beers from West Palm Beach. Good evening, everyone. My name is Diane Carrera, and I'm from Jacksonville. Hello, from the capital city of Tallahassee, I'm Diana Kennedy. Good evening, I'm Devin Hester from Ponce Inlet. Good evening, Florida, from the heart of Broward County, I'm Sabrina Marshall from Fort Lauderdale. Good evening, from Miami, I'm Diana Monroe. Good evening and hello, I'm Michelle Harrington from Tampa. Hi, I'm Andrea Woodworth and I'm from Newport Ritchie. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Polk from Leesburg. Good evening, I'm Shannon Mack, and Yalaha is my hometown. Welcome everyone, I'm Jody Stewart from Charlotte Harbor. Good evening, my name is Cynthia Arvilla, and I come to you from Gainesville. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Karen Alperstein, and I come to you from the beautiful town of Surfside. Hello, Florida, I'm Tamitha Desmond from Pembroke Pines. Hello, my name is Kelly Bowers, and I'm from Crestview. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Emerald Green, and my hometown is Madison. Good evening. I'm Lisette Gonzalez from Hollywood. Hello, Florida. From Delray Beach, I'm Randy Quickle. Good evening. My name is Kimberly K. Herrera from South Miami. Good evening. From Hialeah, I'm Melina Torres. Hello. I'm Sherry Cook from Lakeland. Hi, I'm Dorothy Combs from Bell Harbor. I'm Julie Gage from Tampa. Good evening. From the beautiful city of Hialeah, I am Michelle Coombe. Good evening. I'm Heidi Henderson from Tampa. Hi, I'm Lynette DeMauro, and I'm from Gainesville. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Laura Rogers, and I'm from Cooper City. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cindy Hedgepeth, and I'm from Reddington Shores. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Smith, and my home is Jackson. Hi, my name is Ann Lindbergh. I'm from Miami. Thank you, ladies. How about a big hand for our first 35 contestants? It seems like the state has a lot to be proud of. And before this evening is through, another lucky young lady will be crowned Miss Florida USA. Have you picked a favorite? Well, don't choose too soon, because the options are about to be increased, and the decision, well, it's going to get a little tougher as we meet the remaining 35 contestants in the Miss Florida USA pageant right after these messages. So stay with us.
some stains get on the fabric. But when they take hold of the fabric itself, you need new hope, new era, a new, more powerful protein to help seek out the stain, to penetrate down to the very fiber, to strip it clean. So now, when stains get so tough you think you'll never get them clean, don't give up hope. Reach for new era, new hope for tough stains. I saw roaches on my platter of cold cuts. If sprays and foggers couldn't solve my roach problem, why should combat? Because combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't reach. Look, roaches find combat bait, then carry it back to the nest, where other roaches share the poison and die. Combat got rid of the problem, which the sprays and foggers didn't. The proof that combat works is that I can put cold cuts on my kitchen counter, return, they are untouched, no roaches. Combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't. If you are between the ages of 14 and 17 and would like to learn how you can participate in next year's Miss Florida Teen USA pageant, just send a postcard with your name, address, telephone number, and date of birth to Miss Florida Teen USA, care of Tel Air Interests, 1755 Northeast 149th Street, Miami, Florida, 33181. The Miss Florida Teen USA pageant is the official preliminary to the Miss Teen USA pageant. Welcome back to the 1990 Miss Florida USA pageant. You've met the first half of our contestants, and now it's time to round off the group. Ladies and gentlemen, the remaining 35 contestants in the Miss Florida USA pageant. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cindy Sam. My hometown is Miami. Hi, from the University of Miami in Coral Gables, I'm Terry Wong. Hello, I'm Lisa Warren, and my hometown is Sparkling Clearwater. Good evening from the magical city of Miami. I am Tabitha Fazzino. Hello, my name is Shawna Young and my hometown is Panama City Beach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lisa Suber and I'm from Tallahassee. Hello, I am from Orlando. My name is Ramona Labrack. Good evening, everyone. My name is Emily Nakada and I'm from the city of Parkland. Good evening, I'm Lori Bryson and I'm from Wellington. Born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, my name is Nancy Douglas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cassidy Townsend, and I'm from Plantation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Terry Williams, and I'm from Orlando. Hello, I am Deborah Burnsworth from Orlando. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marianne Mixon, and I'm from Key Biscayne. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chantel Green and my home is Venice. Hello, my name is Shannon Bryan and I'm from Satellite Beach. Good evening, my name is Tanya Belushi and I'm from Coral Springs. Hello, Florida, I'm Erica Hayden from Lake Placid. Good evening, my name is Edie Griffin and my home is Gainesville. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christina Menendez from Miami. Hello, I am Lisa Kelly from Largo. Hello, I'm Donna Clark from Homestead. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lisa Renee Blackwell from Jacksonville. Hello, I'm Melissa Griffin, and my hometown is Bowling Green. Hello, my name is Sandy DeVincentis, and I'm from Wilton Manors, Florida. Hello, I'm Brandy Bryan, and my home is Jacksonville. Good evening, my name is Trisha Hahn, and my hometown is Panama City. From Miami, my name is Tanya Gonzalez. Good evening, my name is Vicki Carter from Kissimmee. Hello, from the capital city of Tallahassee, I'm Kayla Wright. Good evening, I'm Carolyn Dwyer from Ocala. Good evening, I'm Cherie Aldrich from Davie. Greetings from way down upon the Suwannee River. My name is Melissa Mapp and I represent Live Oak, Florida. As you can see, the state is well represented. Ladies and gentlemen, the 70 contestants vying for the title of Miss Florida USA 1990. Tonight's competition may be only just beginning, but these 70 young ladies have been preparing for this day for quite some time. And when we come back, the reigning Miss Florida, Jennifer Parker, will, pre will present two lucky young ladies with the Miss Photogenic and Miss Amity Award. So, don't go away. We'll come back right after these messages.
minor feminine itching, with Vagisil it can be as easy to relieve as a common headache. The medication in Vagisil cream is recognized effective by expert gynecologists and used by millions of women who need fast relief. For minor feminine itching, Vagisil cream. It's that simple. I'd like to tell you about Vagisil feminine powder. The first feminine powder to help control moisture. It lets you feel confidently fresh and dry. Vagisil powder. Coming in November, for the first time in Florida, the Breeders' Cup. Racing's $10 million championship at Gulfstream Park for one spellbinding day. The greatest thoroughbreds and jockeys go head to head in a world summit. The Breeders' Cup, November 4th. Advanced tickets are available now at Gulfstream Racetrack. It's Gulfstream's ultimate racing weekend. Gulfstream, Florida's super track. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello again to our host for this evening, Dick Lamb. One short year ago, we named another beautiful young lady, Miss Florida USA, a high school student from Tallahassee came and charmed him and won all the judges' votes. And this, we're, going to bring, we're going to bring her out now to help us name Miss Amity and Miss Photogenic. Ladies and gentlemen, our reigning Miss Florida USA, Jennifer Parker. Well, Jennifer, are we ready to do this thing together this evening? I'm ready. You uh, think it's going to be all right if we uh, turn that crown and sash over to somebody new? Well, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're willing to help us in that regard anyhow. Yeah, I am. You know how important Miss Amity and Miss Photogenic happens to be, being a part of this pageant in the past. Miss Amity, you see, is the young lady that's chosen by all of the contestants. Kind of tough getting ready for this competition. So the contestants sit down, and they choose the one that they thought was the friendliest, had the best attitude in helping all of her fellow contestants. And this year, our contestants have selected Miss Amity as Laura Rogers. And our congratulations to Laura as Miss Amity. Now, as you well might expect, photo sessions, music, videos, very important part of this entire pageant. And so the photographers and the camera people, they make a selection on Miss Photogenic. And they have chosen this year, Miss Photogenic is Trisha Hahn. Congratulations to you as Miss Photogenic. I know you're wondering which of these lovely young ladies will win this title tonight. We're just as anxious as you are to get on with it. And in just a moment, we will name the 15 semi-finalists, one of whom will collect and inherit the state crown. Why can't they make a stronger flea collar? Someone has. Scratch X. Look. Compared to Hearts and Sargents, Scratch X has the power to kill twice as many fleas. Compare. All these collars kill fleas, but Scratch X has the power to kill twice as many fleas, since it's government approved to work twice as long. Yet Scratch X is safe for three month old pets. Remember, compared to Hearts and Sargents five month collars, the Scratch X 11 month collar has the power to kill twice as many fleas. Are you awake? Yeah. Want to talk? Sure. How'd it go? Fine. I think. It was sort of like presenting to the guys on Mount Rushmore. That good, huh? Oh, did you pick up the car? Uh-huh. Oh, good. So were you wonderful today, or what? Let's just say I didn't break out into a cold sweat. Isn't that good? Under the circumstances, I'd say that's very good. When a woman needs strength, Secret Solid is for her. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. 
It's not kind of fresh, and it's not close to fresh. It is fresh. Introducing Minute Maid Premium Choice, squeezed from 100% Florida oranges, then pasteurized to stay fresh and protected in our perfect package so you can enjoy the best tasting juice we've ever made. New Premium Choice. It's the freshest Minute Maid ever. And the minute you taste it, you'll know. Smelly, rotten mildew stains? Try one, two, three sprays of Tylex against one spray of X14. In minutes, the X14 side is dramatically cleaner without scrubbing. X14, it's better. The men and women of American Airlines committed to making your trip something special. No problem at all. No problem. Glad we could help. And now, welcome back to this, the 39th annual Miss Florida USA pageant, Miss Florida for 1990. We're just about ready. This is one of the major crossroads where we name our 15 semi-finalists. And now, if I may please, let me have the list. Thank you, sir. It's official. It's on this particular lineup that I have the names of our 15 semi-finalists. Ladies, once again, good luck now to each one of you. We'll Read these in no particular order. Read them at random. Beginning with our first semi-finalist, and that is Deborah Burnsworth. <laughs> semi-finalist, Mary Ann Mixon. Semi-finalist, Cassidy Townsend. <laughs> Our next semi-finalist is Lisa Kelly. The next name on our list is that of Brandy Bryan. <laughs> Semi finalist, Trisha Hahn. Next, joining these lucky contestants, Sherry Cook. <laughs> Semi finalist, Laura Rogers. Next on this lucky list is Stephanie Smith. <laughs> Semi finalist, Michelle Harrington. Five more contestants to come. Five more. Join these contestants. And the next is Kimberly Polk. <laughs> Semi finalist Shannon Mack. Now 
now. Just three more remain. The next is Addis Sarosa. <laughs> Semi finalist Tamatha Desmond. Yet one more, just one more. Join us, please, Pristine Janzer. <laughs> and from this point, the judging gets even more difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are, our 15 semifinalists for the title of Miss Florida USA 1990. Preparing for this evening's competition kept the contestants rather busy, but some of the girls took time out to investigate the mystery of one of Florida's oldest tourist attractions, the Coral Castle, located in Homestead. Under the heat of the radiant Florida sun, contestants Terry Wong, Lizette Gonzalez, Alina Torres, and Nancy Lynn Douglas danced to the beat of Sweet Sensation and found a way to let the world know that they are really hooked on Florida. Now come to that time in the pageant when each contestant is asked to comment on a subject selected by Dick Lamb, giving the judges an opportunity to evaluate her personality, sincerity, and ability to express herself. So let's continue the competition as Dick interviews the first seven semifinalists. Dick? Thank you again, Mary. And right now let's talk to Deborah Burnsworth. Deborah, come on out here and join me for just a moment or two. Deborah is from uh, Longwood, a student at Columbia School of Broadcasting. It looks like you're serious. You do indeed want to get into the broadcasting field. Oh, definitely. Right now I am going to be going back to broadcasting school in September. And I just now recently uh, obtained an internship at a local television station in Orlando. So I'm really excited about that. I'll bet you are. So have you, have you had any on-camera experience yet? Oh, definitely. I've been learning voiceovers and stand-ups and finally presenting the news to the public. Just looking down the road, what would you like to do eventually? How do you see yourself? Well, eventually I'd like to get into being a news anchor on a local television station and possibly a co-host on a magazine show such as PM Magazine. I hope that happens for you and good luck. 
Thank you very much. There's Deborah, Deborah Burnsworth. Mary Ann Mixon is next from Key Biscayne. Let me see here. Who's your biggest supporter here this evening, do you suppose? My family. Who in the family? Who gave you the most support, the most advice? That's what I want to know. It would have to be my sisters. Yeah, what did they tell you to do? They told me to just come here and be myself. And are you doing that so far? Yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Well, it's working, you know. Thank you. <laughs> you want to be an actress? Yes, I do. You doing anything to that end? Are you working on it? Yes, I'm, I'm presently doing commercials and doing a little print work on the side as well. Where do you think you'll have to really prepare to be an actress? You got to go somewhere? Got to go to Hollywood, New York? I just need a lot more experience, that's all. Hope you get it and we'll look for you on stage. Thank you very much. And there is Mary Ann Mixon. Thank you. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Here is Cassidy Townsend. All right, Cassidy, bring on the blocks. <laughs> Out of plantation, you're six feet tall, aren't you? Oh, I sure am. Can't you tell? Yeah, I can. You're six feet tall. I'm not. <laughs> you want to be an elementary school teacher and then move right up into administration, I'm told here. Yes, it's true. I just graduated from Florida Southern College with my degree in, in elementary education, and I'm looking forward to beginning my teaching career this fall. This fall, you're going to start teaching. Well, I'm deciding right now. I have a big decision to make, and that's to decide whether or not to continue my modeling career, which I've been doing since I was 13, or to begin teaching right away, which would be in September. Why elementary school kids? Well, I decided one day that my modeling ability could be taken away from me, so I wanted to have something else to do instead that I enjoyed just as much. And so I chose teaching because it was such a great challenge to me, and I could be creative at the same time. You're going to be something in the classroom. Good luck. Thank you. Cassidy Townsend. <laughs> All right, let's bring out the next one right here. If you'll just join me out here. You see, I said next one because you're going to get a real look on the inside of live television. Because the seven people who are supposed to be out here, they aren't out here, you understand. And your guess now is as good as mine. Talk about not being able to tell the players without a scorecard. All right, this should be, this should be Brandy, right? Right. Brandy Bryan from Jacksonville, a student at University of North Florida. You put singing down here in the hobby category. You do that for real or just in the shower? No, I do do it for real. I'm a recent graduate of the School of the Performing Arts, and I majored in vocal music there. But yet, I also see criminology down here as an area of interest to you. Why is that? Well, I decided not to go into singing as a profession, and I've been studying criminology for two years, and I'm looking at going into some kind of investigation work, possibly the FBI. Oh, Lord, the first singing FBI agent. That'll be good. <laughs> Why do you suppose and where do you suppose that you got that interest? Well, my instructors at my college are former FBI agents. So that is where I got the basis for what I thought I wanted to go into. Best wishes to you, too. Thank you. There is Brandy Bryan. Well, come on out, and you'll tell me who you are, and I'll look up the card, and hey, we'll go on from there. I'm Sherry Cook. You certainly are. Right again, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry Cook from Lakeland, student, University of South Florida, 20 years old actress, model, and all of that. What are you doing right now? What are you studying in school? Right now, I'm working towards my major in mass communications, specifically broadcasting, and I would love to have a career as an anchor woman. Tell me why. Because I think the greatest part about an anchor woman's job is that she's involved in the community. And I do quite a bit of public speaking, and I'm also involved in my community with different charities. And I would love just to have the position and use it to some things that mean a lot to me. Well, choose a place. Where would you like to be the anchor woman? Well, now I would love to move to Orlando because I think Florida is booming right now. There's so much going on here. And you're going on with it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sherry Cook. And Stephanie, you come out here and join me now. Boy, I need about seven more fingers is what I need. Jacksonville, huh? Student at Jacksonville University, model, 20 years old. Oh, tell me, describe your ideal man for me. You wrote it down here. I'm going to see if you remember it. Okay. Mm -hmm. My ideal man is tall. What? Tall. Tall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got to have beautiful eyes and a sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And also, he needs to be a little bit financially stable. But if he's not, if the personality carries over, then that's okay. I was with you until I saw one more thing down here, though. It says he's got to dance. Yes, I love to go out and disco dance. 
Why are the eyes so important? I don't know. I've just been attracted to eyes. I think they show a lot of personality. Stephanie, very quickly, what are you going to be planning to do in the future? I want to own my own international public relations agency. And find this ideal man, too, huh? If I can. If not, I'll keep looking until I do. Good luck to you. Thank you. There's Stephanie Smith. <laughs> Next. I hate to hazard a guess. You tell me. Addis Sarosa. Oh, good, Addis. I know you're right here somewhere. Maybe you're not right here somewhere, Addis. From Hialeah, graduated from Pace High School and uh, interested in psychology. Is that true? Yes, I am. Um, I would like to specialize in child psychology. I, would, I love to work with children. Ever since I was young, I loved it. This summer, I got the opportunity to work at a psychological, a psych psychological services center, and I loved it. Um, I think I can have the ability to counsel and work with children. You have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one sister. Younger or older? Younger. She's 15. You ever consult her? No. <laughs> well, you could get some good practice there at home. Yes, I can. How about your parents? Do you tell them what to do? Mm, well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got you, didn't it? They, they put the rules. That's it. <laughs> and you follow them? Yes. You're doing a good job and good luck to you. Thank you very much. That is Addis Sarosa. Somehow we did that and got seven of our semifinalists, eight more standing in the wings coming along in just a moment. Now, we asked one of the contestants, somebody who has been here before, how she felt about this phase of the competition. That somebody is Jackie Pageant, Miss North Carolina, USA of 1989. The interviews are a very important part of the pageant, and certainly the girls are nervous. But this phase of competition allows contestants the opportunity to let their personality shine. And Dick not only knows all the right questions to ask, he also makes the girls feel at ease. We'll hear from the remaining semifinalists after these messages from your local station. Back once again we are and continuing to talk with our semi-finalists, we have eight more to bring out here, and let's start with Lisa Kelly. Lisa's from Largo. I see uh, several mentions of law here in your future. Where are you going to school, Lisa? Oh, I'm plan planning on going to Stetson University College of Law next month. All right, now where did the, all of your excitement about law come into your life? Who do you suppose was responsible for that? Well, I have an older brother and an older sister who are also attorneys, and I think I'd like to follow in their footsteps. Also, I'm very interested in practicing law and about our legal system. You mentioned rather emphatically that you would like to be a successful lawyer right here in your home state of Florida. That's right. And tell me why. Not, not willing to leave home, huh? No, I'm quite proud of my state of Florida, and I'd like to, I had a good experience growing up here, and I'd like to give back a little of what I got. Well, we'll see you in court, and good luck. Thank you very much. There is Lisa Kelly. <laughs> Laura, come on out. Laura Rogers, Cooper City, student right here at Broward Community College, 21 years old. It says here, you have appeared with Bob Hope on a Christmas special and with Willard Scott on the Today Show. Now, how did those uh, opportunities come along? Well, I was quite fortunate. Last year, I was on the Bob Hope Christmas special, and we filmed it down here on Williams Island, and I had the opportunity of meeting uh, Bob Hope. We... Uh, we went up to Williams Island, and I met him there. He was there. We went over some dialogue, and he was, I was so excited to see him. We went over a little bit of dialogue, and it was joking, and he was like, Laura, that's a joke. You're supposed to laugh at that. But I was so nervous, I couldn't laugh. And I also appeared on the Today Show with Willard Scott because I was the Orange Bowl queen, so that's why I had the opportunity to. So I was, it was quite an experience. But You're going to keep in showbiz like this? Yes, exactly. That's what I plan on doing. Good luck to you, Laura. Well, thank you very much. Laura Rogers. Michelle Harrington is next from Tampa, loan processor, 22 years old. Are you still working uh, as a loan processor? I sure am. Any money on you, kid? No, not at this time. <laughs> Tell me about this. You say that something that turns you on is a secluded beach, and something that turns you off, bikini swimsuits for men. Don't like those, huh? No, I really don't like them. Uh, a lot of men wear them when they really shouldn't. You know, they get that little belly on them. I, I like the traditional boxer. And I think it compliments most men. <laughs> Michelle. I think a lot of people out there can relate to what you just said, apparently. 
Yeah, it's, I see it often living in Tampa right there in the St. Petersburg Clearwater area. It's so close. I go to the beach as often as I can. I really enjoy it. Michelle, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Michelle Harrington. All right, Kimberly Polk, Leesburg, a high school graduate. What about your future, Kimberly? Well, I've just recently graduated this year, and then I'm going to plan on going to Santa Fe up in Gainesville for fashion designing. For fashion designing. Uh, down the road, fantasy time. What do you see yourself doing five, ten years from now? Well, hopefully now that I could design something and somebody could be in my steps right now wearing something that I designed. Well, I'll bet that may just happen for you real quickly. Tell me this. What do you do for fun when you're not in school and studying and things like that? Talk on the telephone and watch soap operas. <laughs> you're not too unusual, are you? No. Kimberly, good luck. Thank you. That is Kimberly Polk. <laughs> Shannon? Shannon Mack is next from me. Yalaha. Did I get that right? You sure did. We've been practicing that, haven't we? <laughs> 22 years old, Student University of Florida. What are you studying? Um, art education for the hearing impaired. And what are you going to do with that education? Well, I'd like, well, in a year, I will be finished with my degree, and I'd like to teach hearing impaired children to help them understand art because they have a keener perception of the world around them. And I feel that they have more potential than the average student, and they have more enthusiasm. How much background, how much education do you need to start that work? Well, I finish in one year with my regular degree, and I, I also will have a studio art degree. And with that, I would like to get into motion picture art and finish and get my master's in art education for the hearing impaired. You sound like you got it mapped out neatly. Good luck to you. Thank you. There's Shannon Mack. Samantha Desmond, Pembroke Pines, student at Broward Community College, 18 years old. She runs, she sings, she travels. Well, what is she going to do down the road? Well, I haven't quite gone into college. I just graduated from high school, mm -hmm. and I'll be going to Broward Community College, and I'm going to get a degree in business, and then I'll transfer to Florida State, and I'd like to major in psychology. I'd particularly like to go into child psychology, and I've had the opportunity to work with a program similar to the Big Brother, Big Sister program. Why do you suppose you've chosen psychology as a field of interest? I've always been interested in psychology. My father took a few courses in it, and he had a lot of books, so I did a lot of reading through the books, and I feel like that's what encouraged my interest in it. Hope you follow up on that, and best wishes to you this evening. Thank you very much. There is Tamatha Desmond. Christine, you're next. Christine Janzer coming out from Hollywood, student at Sheridan Vocational, 21 years old. Well, tell me about yourself. What are you going to do when you finish school? Well, I plan to become an interior decorator after I get married. Right now, I'm an executive secretary at Gulfstream Racetrack, where we are very busy planning for the Breeders' Cup in November. And that's about it. <laughs> well, you're the first one to mention marriage here very early on in your plans. Uh, that sounds like something. Is that imminent? No, not for another five years, hopefully. But you've, you, you've definitely decided you want to do that first and then work on career second? Yes, definitely. Well, is that a little unusual? No, I don't think so. The way I was brought up with my family and everything, we're really close. And I think I just followed in their footsteps. And I bet they're proud of that. I hope so. Good luck to you. Thank you. Christine Jenzer. And then Trisha Hahn is next. Trisha Hahn, Panama City, Gulf Coast Community College. I see a lot of art listed here. Hobbies, art, prized possession, first piece of art. And what was that first piece of art? It was an intriguing pencil sketch of an old broken down house. Why is that your favorite possession? Well, because it was my first piece of artwork and it got selected for the Florida State Youth Art Symposium and toured the state for a year. Well, now with that kind of background, what are you going to do in the future? Well, I plan to... Uh, uh, get my major in commercial art, and I will own my own advertising agency one day, and I will incorporate my art talents into that. Well, you sound like a talented lady, and you're doing nicely also on this stage. Good luck to you. Thank you. There is Tricia Hahn. <laughs> and there you have our semi-finalists. Ladies, you did a good job, and we thank you very much, the remainder of our semi-finalists. Well, I'll tell you, their fate's in the hands of our good panel of judges, and I want to introduce those folks to you right now, as a matter of fact. Our first judge 
One of the biggest musical success stories of the 1980s, a former session drummer for Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound Machine recently became one of the decade's hot new writers, penning such hit songs as Conga and Dr. Beat and others. Now the leader of his own band, hard at work composing new songs. Would you please welcome Enrique Kiki Garcia. She represented the state of Pennsylvania in the Miss USA pageant of 1976 and has since become vice president of Zambelli International Fireworks, entertaining millions of Americans every year with spectacular displays, including the bicentennial celebration of the Statue of Liberty in 1986. Welcome Marcy Zambelli Bumagali. Next judge, former pro football player, currently serves on the Governor's Sports Advisory Council for the state of Florida. And he has recently joined the sports design group of Rosser Fabrac International as business development principal. Would you welcome, please, Mari Yeomans. Our next judge, involved in economic development at both the county and the state level, serves on the executive committee of the Polk County Economic Development Council. Welcome the man that's responsible for bringing both Miss USA and the Miss USA teen pageants to Lakeland, Florida, Gene Engel. Next guest, a lady who has casting credits that span both film and television, responsible for casting the characters of such major motion pictures as Cocoon and Scarface. Also, the casting agent for the hit TV series, Miami Vice. She is Beverly McDermott. Next tonight, she's a wardrobe coordinator, stylist, makeup consultant for fashion videos and still shots. Now a representative for Valentino at the Dallas Apparel Mart. Give a warm Florida welcome to Dee Wheeler. <laughs> and our next judge, international trial attorney from the state of Maryland has judged over 175 state and national pageants during the last 25 years. We call him the Dean of Miss USA State Pageant Judges, Mr. John Bell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our qualified, our distinguished panel of judges. I will tell you that our judges last year made a fine decision. They made a milestone happen when they chose Jennifer Parker because she's the youngest title holder at the Miss Florida USA state pageant ever, ever, ever. And Jennifer's about to share some of that experience with Mary Margaret. Thanks, Dick. Well, Jennifer, it's almost over, and I'm wondering, what kind of year did you have? I had a great year. I made a lot of new friends as, at the Miss USA pageant, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of great experiences traveling around the beautiful state of Florida, and I met a lot of interesting people. And as a senior in high school, what made you join the Miss Florida USA pageant instead of the Miss Florida Teen USA pageant? Well, I'd never really considered beauty pageants before, and my dance teacher, who's a big influence in my life, she shoved me off when I was 17 and sent me here. <laughs> <laughs> and then how did you feel when you made the top 15 and then, of course, the top five? Well, the top 15 I dreaded when they called my name out because I didn't really, I thought I was done competing. I was ready to go home and relax. <laughs> and then when they called top five, I just kind of went into an overdrive. I didn't really know what I was doing or where I was. <laughs> and then you won Miss Florida USA for 1989. And what were the reactions from your family and your friends when you got back home? Well, my family was very supportive. They took lots of phone calls and put up with a lot of hassle. And my friends, once they figured out that I wasn't going to be a changed person, they supported me also. <laughs> And my dance teacher, she was very ecstatic because she watched the pageant during her wedding reception. <laughs> and so she was very excited for me. And now that it's all over and you've done such a wonderful job, um, is there any advice you might give to other young ladies who might be hesitant to join a pageant, maybe because of their age? Well, I'd just simply say that everyone has the ability to go out and achieve something. And I would just tell them to reach inside themselves and pull out their best qualities. 
and go for it. <laughs> well, that sounds like wonderful advice to me. And I want to thank you, and I want to wish you the very best of luck with your dancing career. Well, thank you. You're welcome. And we will be right back with special guest star Barry Fish right after these messages. Minor feminine itching? With Vagisil, it can be as easy to relieve as a common headache. The medication in Vagisil cream is recognized effective by expert gynecologists and used by millions of women who need fast relief. For minor feminine itching, Vagisil cream. It's that simple. I'd like to tell you about Vagisil feminine powder. The first feminine powder to help control moisture. It lets you feel confidently fresh and dry. Vagisil powder. It's not kind of fresh, and it's not close to fresh. It is fresh. Introducing Minute Maid Premium Choice, squeezed from 100% Florida oranges, then pasteurized to stay fresh and protected in our perfect package so you can enjoy the best tasting juice we've ever made. New Premium Choice. It's the freshest Minute Maid ever. And the minute you taste it, you'll know. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, the Miss Florida USA pageant is proud to present 1988 Star Search finalist and now a Nashville recording artist. Please give a warm Florida welcome to singer and songwriter Barry Fish. My heart stops breaking when I think of making a plan to let you go. I keep thinking maybe tomorrow I'm going to let you know. But when I think about leaving, I think about losing the only love I ever knew. Every time I look at you, my heart stops aching, my hands keep shaking, and you know, you know, you know, it would take a strong, strong man to ever let you go, to ever let you go. Can't you hear that lonesome wind? It sounds too beautiful. The midnight train is wide and low, and I'm so lonesome. The silence of a falling star lights up the purple sky, and as I wonder where you are, I'm so lost.
has been attracting increased amounts of attention since before the turn of the century for reasons that go far beyond sun, sand, and surf. And this week, our contestants found out why. From delicious dining to exotic location, there was plenty to see and to do last week before the, the pageant began. You know, they say the future is in the hands of our youth. And when the girls were welcomed by so many friendly people, they turned up the energy, had a lot of fun, and left the future in the hands of an electric youth. American Airlines is the official Miss Florida USA airline and made sure contestants and other pageant personnel arrived in comfort and on time. Once safely on the ground, however, Galaxy Bus Lines provided relaxing and reliable transportation for the contestants during their busy schedule. One of the first pageant events was the orientation dinner at Bobby Rubino's restaurant, where the young ladies enjoyed a delicious dinner and for the first time met with a panel of expert judges. The ice quickly melted and neither contestants or judges showed any signs of stage fright. Broward Community College is the site of Bailey Hall and tonight's pageant. It's also the home of one contestant who promptly showed off Broward Community College to some of her new friends. Ocean Walk in Hollywood Beach was next on the agenda. Here the ladies found fun, excitement, and fine Mexican food at O'Malley's famous restaurant. They were all treated like queens. Paradise Island in the Bahamas was a location of a Miss Florida USA music video, and with its exotic locations, shopping, clear water, and beautiful beaches, our contestants thought they were in paradise. The Diplomat Hotel and Resort in Hollywood, Florida is the home away from home for all 70 contestants during the pageant, and it's a plentiful source of all kinds of fun even during press photo day, when the contestants are supposed to be serious. If, as they say, the future really is in the hands of our youth, then according to these 70 beautiful young women, there's a lot of fun in our future. To, and that our contestants are not going to forget this wonderful week. You know, Florida has always been known for its beautiful beaches, and even more so for the beautiful girls that are found there. And now we'll see some of Florida's finest as the contestants appear on stage in their official pageant swimsuits by Catalina. And now here's Dick with the 15 semifinalists in the second category of the pageant, the swimsuit competition. Dick? As we continue live from Bailey Hall here at Broward Community College, we're ready for swimsuit competition. And our first semifinalist, Deborah Burnsworth. <laughs> Deborah Burnsworth from Longwood, student, Columbia School of Broadcasting. Mary Ann Mixon. Mary Ann, a 23-year-old model from Key Biscayne. Cassidy Townsend. Cassidy from Plantation. Going into the field of education. She's 21. Lisa Kelly. Going to Stetson University School of Law. Lisa from Largo. Brandy Bryan. Brandy comes to us from Jacksonville, 20 years old, student, University of North Florida. Tricia Hahn. from Panama City, a background in art.
Sherry Cook. From Lakeland, South Florida student, 20 years old. Laura Rogers. Laura, Broward Community College, home is Cooper City, she's 21. Stephanie Smith. Stephanie from Jacksonville, 20 year old student, Jacksonville University. Michelle Harrington. Michelle, young lady from Tampa, a loan processor, she's 22. Kimberly Polk. From Leesburg, high school graduate, 18 years old. Shannon Mack. From Yalaha, Shannon 22, Student University of Florida. Addis Sarosa. Graduated from Pace High School. Home is Hialeah. She's 18. Samantha Desmond. Student here at Broward Community College. Home is Pembroke Pine. She's 18. And Christine Janzer. From Hollywood. 21 years old. Now we'll have all of our 15 semifinalists come right back to center stage so that our judges and audience may have one final look in swimsuit competition. Contestants have finished two of the judging categories. Have you picked your favorite? You know, being in the Miss Florida USA pageant has been a stepping stone for many of the young girls in the Sunshine State. They have gone on to become successful actresses like Victoria Principal and successful models like Barbara Bond. The Miss Florida USA pageant will continue after these messages from Tropicana. It's not easy getting the great taste of pineapple grapefruit juice, unless you get Tropicana. Fortunately, we also make orange strawberry banana juice and orange pineapple juice. Tropicana. We've got a whole lot of reasons why you just can't pick a better juice. Now, isn't life simple? I saw roaches on my platter of cold cuts. If sprays and foggers couldn't solve my roach problem, why should combat? Because combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't reach. Look, roaches find combat bait, then carry it back to the nest, where other roaches share the poison and die. Combat got rid of the problem, which the sprays and foggers didn't. The proof that combat works is that I can put cold cuts on my kitchen counter, return, they are untouched, no roaches. Combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't. Keeping in shape for tonight's swimsuit competition was no easy task. And while some of our contestants thought the gym was the best place to start, others found a much cooler place to stay fit. But when these little devils got together at the Bonton Square in historical Fort Lauderdale, they decided that shaking it up to salt and pepper's twist and shout was one way for everyone to work it on out and have a lot of fun.
That sweat and energy will definitely pay off for one lucky girl tonight as she becomes the decade's first Miss Florida USA because along with the honor of wearing the state crown the winner will be showered with prizes so that when she arrives at the Miss USA pageant in the spring she not only will arrive in style she'll be dressed for success when the new Miss Florida USA is ready to travel, she'll be flying on American Airlines, the official airline of the Miss Florida USA pageant. During the year of her reign, she will always be a special guest at the Diplomat Resort and Country Club, right on the ocean in Hollywood. Carol's Jewelers will custom design a diamond, pearl, and moonstone necklace to further enhance the beauty of tonight's winner. And for her travels, Lori Chambliss Boutique and Design Salon will present a $2,000 designer suit, the perfect gift for the girls' busy schedule.
artist Dom Ngoma has captured on canvas this special gift entitled Feelings of Miss Florida USA. During the year of her reign, she'll be on the go in her stylish sporty Camaro, courtesy of Gary Fronrath Chevrolet. sports car, she has a sports wear wardrobe from Catalina. Bijou Turner has special gifts for all the contestants and for our winner, a complete complement of custom jewelry and accessories. San Marino Boutique will outfit Miss Florida USA with their designer lines of women's clothing. The place to see and be seen is the Mayfair House Hotel Grand Lux, and Miss Florida USA will have a luxury weekend with white glove service, a visit to Michael of London's European Hair Salon, and a lifetime membership to Ensign Bitters, the hotel's private club. When she travels to the Miss USA pageant, she will have a $3,500 evening gown from Fashions by Christina. And if the evenings are cold, she'll be kept warm in her own blue fox fur jacket. When she needs to take a breather from her busy schedule, she'll have the perfect opportunity as she wings to the Bahamas on Merv Griffin's Paradise Island Airlines. In Nassau, she'll be able to shop and dance on Bay Street and play and relax on Paradise Island. Other prizes include a $2,000 cash award and an all-expense-paid trip to represent Florida in the 1990 Miss USA pageant. The search for the new Miss Florida USA continues now with the evening gown competition. This glamorous segment of tonight's show is the final phase of competition during which the semifinalists exhibit their grace, elegance, and individual fashion taste. As each of the contestants appear on the stage in a gown of their own choosing, the judges will give them scores based on poise, charm, and fashion sense. And now, Mary Margaret, in this attractive setting, is provided by Bunning the Florist. We're ready to begin our Parade of Beauty, our evening gown competition, and beginning with Deborah Burnsworth. Once again, Deborah of Longwood, who, by the way, will be celebrating her 22nd birthday next week. Mary Ann Mixon. Interested in an acting career, she is from Key Biscayne. Mary Ann is 23 years old. Cassidy Townsend. Her career will be in education, first as a teacher and then into administrative work. Cassidy from Plantation. Lisa Kelly. 
from Largo. Lisa planning to go to Stetson University School of Law and to practice law right here in the state of Florida. Brandy Bryan. From Jacksonville, Tans North Florida, 20 years old. Tricia Hahn. Planning to finish her education in fine arts. Trisha is from Panama City. She's 20. <laughs> Sherry Cook. Sherry's from Lakeland, 20 years old, Student University of South Florida. Looking for a degree in mass communications. <laughs> Laura Rogers. Broward Community College student, 21. Laura, who comes from Cooper City. <laughs> Stephanie Smith. Year-old from Jacksonville with some interest in public relations. <laughs> Michelle Harrington. Michelle from Tampa, she's 22. She's a loan processor. Kimberly Polk. Fashion design, Kimberly, a high school graduate out of Leesburg High School. She's 18. <laughs> Shannon Mack. A 22-year-old student, University of Florida. Addis Sorosa. Interested in the field of psychology. She's 18. She's from Hialeah. Tamatha Desmond, Broward Community College student who comes from Pembroke Pine. She is 18.
petition for this evening, covering the evening gown and the swimsuit and the personality interviews. Next, we'll get ready to name our five finalists for you. Now, here's a young lady who has once again been there. She's Miss Florida Teen USA, and she tells us what our contestants are probably thinking right now. This is Debbie Knox. I remember how nervous I was and hoping that I would be in the top five. These girls are just as nervous, but they don't dare show it. We'll return to the Miss Florida USA pageant right after these messages from your local station. Welcome back to the 1990 Miss Florida USA pageant. You know, vying for the title of Miss Florida USA involves not only weeks of challenging preparations, it also is a time when dreams come true. And during the hectic hours of preliminary competition, some of our contestants began of, of dreaming of a vacation in paradise. You know, sandy beaches, luxury hotels, good food, and of course, shopping. And for one day, these fantasies became a reality when 20 of the girls left the world of pageants behind them, packed their bags, and escaped for an adventure of a lifetime with two tickets to paradise. Travel to Nassau was provided by Merv Griffin's Paradise Island Airlines. Daily flights from Miami and Fort Lauderdale to the new Paradise Island International Airport. Only minutes from Merv Griffin's Paradise Island Resort and Casino. And now a word from ScratchX. ScratchX, 11-month flea collar for dogs and cats with twice the flea-killing power. ScratchX. 
Why can't they make a stronger flea collar? Someone has. Scratch X. Look, compared to Hearts and Sargents, Scratch X has the power to kill twice as many fleas. Compare. All these collars kill fleas, but Scratch X has the power to kill twice as many fleas, since it's government approved to work twice as long. Yet Scratch X is safe for three month old pets. Remember, compared to Hearts and Sargents' five month collars, the Scratch X 11 month collar has the power to kill twice as many fleas. I saw roaches on my platter of cold cuts. If sprays and foggers couldn't solve my roach problem, why should combat? Because combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't reach. Look, roaches find combat bait, then carry it back to the nest, where other roaches share the poison and die. Combat got rid of the problem, which the sprays and foggers didn't. The proof that combat works is that I can put cold cuts on my kitchen counter, return, they are untouched, no roaches. Combat kills roaches, sprays and foggers can't. Smelly, rotten mildew stains? Try one, two, three sprays of Tylex against one spray of X14. In minutes, the X14 side is dramatically cleaner without scrubbing. X14, it's better. If you are between the ages of 14 and 17 and would like to learn how you can participate in next year's Miss Florida Teen USA pageant, just send a postcard with your name, address, telephone number, and date of birth to Miss Florida Teen USA, care of Tel Air Interests, 1755 Northeast 149th Street, Miami, Florida, 33181. The Miss Florida Teen USA pageant is the official preliminary to the Miss Teen USA pageant. Now, just before we name our five finalists this evening, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you from our audience some young ladies who have had this experience and they know exactly what's going on here this evening. First, ladies and gentlemen, Miss North Carolina USA 1989, Jackie Paget. And Miss Virginia, USA, 1989, Kimberly Nice Wonder. And also in the audience this evening, Miss Florida Teen, USA, and she is Debbie Knox. These ladies know what this is all about, and we are glad to have them with us this evening. I think now that the word has been prepared, and I'm now going to get the names of our five finalists. Thank you again, sir. On this card are those five names. It gets very difficult at this point because you have these 15 beautiful young ladies, and now the number out of necessity must be trimmed to five. Again, ladies, good luck to you. Our first finalist on the list, Stephanie Smith. Our next finalist is Cassidy Townsend. Three more to go. The next finalist is Laura Rogers. Two more names to come, and the next, Trisha Hahn. <laughs> Joining these four beautiful finalists, one more, Deborah Burnsworth. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are, our finalists for the title of Miss Florida USA 1990. And we'll continue after these messages. our judges make their final evaluations, our guest performer will serenade our finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Fish.
Oceans apart day after day And I slowly go insane I hear your voice on the line But it doesn't stop the pain If I see you next to never How can we say forever Wherever you go Whatever you do I will be right here Waiting for you Whatever it takes Or how my heart breaks I will be right here Waiting for you I took for granted All the time that I thought would last somehow I hear the laughter I taste the tears but I can't get near you now oh can't you see it baby you've got me going crazy wherever you go Whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you. Whatever it takes, or how my heart breaks, I will be right here waiting for you. I wonder how we can survive this romance. But in the end, if I'm with you, I'll take the chance. Oh, can't you see it, baby? You've got me going crazy. Wherever you go, whatever you do, takes how my heart breaks I will be right here waiting for you waiting for you Barry Fish. Thank you again, Barry. Well, ladies, there's not a whole lot of time left now. The judges finish marking those ballots. They get all counted up. And, well, you holding up all right here, Deborah? I sure am. This is very exciting. Well, you seem to be awfully calm and cool. Yes, this is, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> you think so, huh? <laughs> This is a lot of fun, but a little bit nerve-wracking. Stephanie, I know your parents are here. Yeah. They're, they're your greatest fans, aren't they? Of course. I think everybody's parents is their favorite fan. You holding up all right here? Yes, I am. In just a few seconds, and we'll know what the story is. Well, Cassidy, my, 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 here we are, right in the middle in the thick of it again, huh? Once again. You sure? Yeah, I don't hear any knees knocking or anything here, do I? No, I'm trying not to. Boy, this is... Uh, these are folks that really have a strong hold on their nerves. I mean, it's almost like you had experience. Well, I have. I know you have. <laughs> Cassidy, and then, uh, hey, Laura, oh, now see, that's perfect. Nice big deep sigh. I can see that you're trying to hold on to it and doing pretty well. Who's here in, in your corner tonight? In my corner, my parents are here, and my friends, and my brother. So I have a lot of support, and thank you all. It means so much to me. All right, in a moment or so. All of this will be a, a happy experience and all behind you here. And Tricia, how are you doing? I'm doing great. 
Ah, is art easier than this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as tough on the nerves, is it? No. <laughs> All right, it's coming and coming soon. The word from our judges as to our new Miss Florida USA for 1990. Right now, here is Mary Margaret. For several years, Florida's sun, surf, and waterways have been home to many lovely young women, many of whom, like our top five beautiful finalists, are hoping to become the new Miss Florida USA. Now, if you're wondering how you might become a contestant, here's the reigning Miss Florida USA, Jennifer Parker, to tell you. The excitement and honor of being selected Miss Florida USA is one that you, too, might share. Here between the ages of 17 and 24, you may qualify for next year's Miss Florida USA pageant. For details on how to enter, send a card with your name, address, telephone number, and date of birth to Miss Florida USA, 1755 Northeast 149th Street, Miami, Florida, 33181. Miss Florida USA is the official pageant for the Miss USA and Miss Universe pageants. Hi, I'm Kim Nicewonder. Last year I became Miss Virginia USA 1989. It's a moment I'll never forget. We've come to the portion of the pageant that is met with mixed emotions. It's a relief to be through with the final phases of competition, but the tension is still mounting. We will return live from Bailey Hall to hear Dick announce the name of the new Miss Florida USA right after this. It's not easy getting the great taste of pineapple grapefruit juice unless you get Tropicana. Fortunately, we also make orange strawberry banana juice and orange pineapple juice. Tropicana. We've got a whole lot of reasons why you just can't pick a better juice. Now, isn't life simple? This awful itch. Won't anything stop it fast? Lanocaine will. Lanocaine shuts off the itch like a switch, instantly. Look, Benadryl can't. Cortade can't. Hydrocortisones can't. Only Lanocaine cream actually quiets the itch nerves that cause every itch, instantly, on contact. So for the fastest relief of every itch, every itch, get Lanocaine. Lanocaine does shut off the itch, like a switch, instantly. Well, that big moment is drawing near. Right now, we come to that part of the program this evening where we combine the excitement of the pageant and the fond memories of a year ago when that young lady out of Tallahassee became our Miss Florida USA, youngest one ever to win the title. And it's time now for the farewell to her title for that final walk in farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jennifer Parker. It would be impossible to describe this past year in a few short seconds. This experience has enriched my life by allowing me to discover new possibilities in the world and new potential within myself. I would like to thank everyone who has made this year possible. To my loving family, you were the support that allowed me to stand tall and face challenges head on. To Jean, you were the driving force behind both my aspiring and achieving this title, and for this I am ever grateful. To my friends and supporters, by never expecting me to be anyone other than myself, you allowed me to be the best I could be. Representing the state of Florida has been made so easy by all of the warm and caring people that call it home. I love you all. And to the new Miss Florida USA, the world is your horizon. All that you have put into this pageant will be returned to you many times over. Congratulations and good luck. Jennifer, congratulations on a great year. And now we're ready to crown your successor. I'm going to now get from our CPA company the names of our winners. This is Dan Emke. Dan, who comes from the Miami Lake CPA firm of Tate & Company. Thank you, Dan. And delivering to me the names of our winners. I will announce for you a fourth runner-up, third runner-up, second, first runner-up, and the new Miss Florida USA for 1990. And now, the fourth runner-up is Deborah Burnsworth. <laughs> the
these four contestants remain brings us to our third runner-up. And that is Laura Rogers. <laughs> and then we have three. Ladies and gentlemen, our second runner-up is Stephanie Smith. Well, ladies, one of you is the first runner-up. The other is our new Miss Florida USA. You know, of course, first runner-up, very important, because if for any reason our winner tonight cannot complete the year as Miss Florida, why the first runner-up will then take over that crown and sash. All ready, are we? Ladies and gentlemen, our first runner-up is Cassidy Townsend, the new Miss Florida USA for 1990 is Trisha Hahn. Trisha Hahn from Panama City, 20 years old, starts the new decade of pageantry for us as Miss Florida USA 1990. Once she receives that crown and sash, and now if you will, Trisha, if you will present yourself on stage as our new Miss Florida USA. Tears and all. Yes. This is the toughest part to have to face this microphone and camera and tears coming down and all this excitement. Do you have the strength to say anything? I'm just so happy. <laughs> Who's here rooting for you tonight? My parents and my aunt and uncle and my cousins and my boyfriend. <laughs> you think you're going to be ready to take on the rest of the country in that Miss USA pageant? Oh, you bet. <laughs> We're sure going to be rooting for you. Thank you. Is this going to put a little uh, a slide on the education officially for a while? Maybe, but that's okay. <laughs> Good I... luck to you, Tricia. Thank you. I think you're going to make a wonderful Miss Florida USA. Thanks. And here she is again, Miss Florida USA 1990, <laughs> Tricia Hahn from Panama City. This is Dick Lamb. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations, Trisha Hahn, Miss Florida USA 1990. Tonight, we've witnessed the fulfilling of a young woman's dream as we ushered in a new decade of pageantry with the crowning of a new Miss Florida USA. As an ambassador for the Sunshine State, she can look forward to a year of adventure and new discoveries, including her trip to the 1990 Miss USA pageant in spring. We have full confidence in her and know she'll do a great job. And congratulations to our 70 contestants for an outstanding job here tonight. And of course, a very special thank you to everyone who helped make the decade's first Miss Florida USA pageant a success. And thank you for joining us here tonight from beautiful Bailey Hall. This is Mary Margaret Hume saying good night. The 1990 Miss Florida USA pageant has been brought to you in part by Tropicana Pure Premium. Fresh tasting orange juice with no water added and no water taken away. Pure premium. You can't pick a better juice. And by the makers of Combat Roach Control System. Nothing solves your roach problem like Combat. <laughs> Miss Florida USA will go to South America. 
to Ecuador and the marvelous Galapagos Islands on Sayeta Airlines with its world-class service. Visiting Quito and its colonial treasures high in the Andes Mountains. Guayaquil and to Galapagos, where Darwin wrote his origin of the species. A fascinating cruise on the Galapagos Explorer. An unforgettable trip on Sayeta Airlines. Complete tours from Miami, nine days including air portions, cruises, hotels, and tours from $990 per person. Sayeta Airlines, the airline of Ecuador. Transportation for the 1990 Miss Florida USA pageant was provided by Cars of the Rich and Famous. How you get there should be just as exciting as where you're going. Always call for Cars of the Rich and Famous for your special events.